Hello everybody and welcome back to my Heavy Rain Let's Play. Let's continue, shall we? Oh my god. Ethan, Ethan, can you hear me? You've got a hell of a fever. <laughs> look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Are those burn marks on your chest? I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Wait, Madison, you need to go to the bathroom, not the front door. Damn camera angle. Come on, this way. Here we go, that's better. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Why the hell just touches burn marks there? That is just... That was not smart, <laughs> touching his burn mark like that. I'm surprised he didn't react. Anyway, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, okay, uh... Anti-fever? Sorry. I'll go easier. God. Sorry. God damn I'll it. I'll go easier.
Your wounds are disinfected. Can't put on a bandage yet. Gotta treat the wounds first. That should ease the pain. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. How do you feel? I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. You didn't really leave me any choice. I couldn't just leave you like that. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? I, um... I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but uh, it's not easy. You, um, you got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be asking you questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. I... No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care.
didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection. But the next day, there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Lieutenant Carter Blake, and this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. He's right. Legally, you gotta tell us what you know. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. I know you don't want to protect a murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Sean Mars's life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. Hey, that's enough. Let's get out of here. Let go of me. You... You have no right! <laughs> Blake, don't do it. Don't do it, Blake. Don't do it. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. You have no right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. What's up with you, Norm? How you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid! I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're gonna stop this shit right now! I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. He must have fallen out of his pocket.
How on earth does Blake have a job? I mean, come on. You you, sh you can't do that. You, you sh ugh. Fucking Blake. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. The balls are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. That was Hell, shit. It's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer.
that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.